Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you my vanity slash studio room. Basically, I have one room where I keep all of my makeup and where I also film. My room is pretty much literally split in half by my background for what is for filming and what is for just storage and kind of more cutesy type stuff. I have done one of these a little while back, but that one is really, really outdated since I'm way more far along with all of my makeup and my room than I had been previously. I am going to babble a little bit, so if you're someone that just wants to see either my vanity room or my studio, then you can go to here to see my vanity room and here to see my studio. But before I do that, I wanted to just kind of talk a little bit. I don't do these videos in any way, shape, or form to brag or anything like that. I feel very fortunate that I'm able to have an entire room dedicated to makeup and filming and all of that kind of stuff as well as I also feel super super lucky to receive PR from some companies. But do keep in mind that a lot of this makeup I did actually buy. I still buy makeup. I have also shown my studio setup and that has changed a little bit, not, not that much. But I also wanted to quickly touch up on that because when I showed my studio, it was part of like a how-to social media where I was telling you guys my opinions on more how to grow more Instagram followers and how to really start kind of making makeup tutorials. And I was going to do this whole long series, but unfortunately I haven't continued it because those are pretty much the lowest viewed videos on my channel and they put a lot more work into them. Kind of what, it kind of sucks because I get so many questions. It kind of sucks because I would say so many of the private questions that I get are about how to kind of grow a following, how to start social media, but no one ever really goes back and watches those videos because I know they're long, but I thought, but those videos have more than I could ever say like over text or through a DM. So I just felt like that was kind of unfortunate. So I have not continued that series because I know a couple of people have been asking about it. I also did want to touch on, you guys will see all of my extras and stuff. My extras are usually given to friends or family or I'll give them away in giveaways. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of like doing these big giveaways where there's all these different steps or like making a post out of a giveaway. But what I kind of do is I do giveaways on my Snapchat, relatively simple. And sometimes what I really like doing is just messaging people whose names I recognize a lot and asking them if they want me to send them a package of makeup just because I feel like a lot of times people get their followers from doing all of these giveaways and that's not what I want my channel to be. I want people to be here because they like me, not because they're expecting a free makeup or something like that. So if you don't see me doing these like big, hey guys, I'm doing a giveaway, giveaway, giveaway type of things, that's why. Personally, I would rather give it to someone that I know will really appreciate it because sometimes when I've done giveaways in the past, I'll send someone something and they unfollow me after, which is kind of like a slap in the face. Sorry if the camera's shaky, don't really have like a stabilizer or anything like that, but I'm gonna do my best. So first I'm gonna show you my makeup part of my room and then I'm gonna show you the studio part of my room. The studio part is basically where I film what I use. I'll link what I can below for things. Let's get into it. So basically here is the vanity part of my room. In the corner I have this giant thing for filming for my paper backgrounds. Then I have this mirror that I never use. Then we have my literal pride and joy right here. So in here I have a PR package from Smashbox. I'll get it down so you can see. In here is basically a big circle of lipsticks with like really, really cute packaging and I just really love the packaging. I have a really, really hard time throwing really big elaborate PR packages away just because I think they're so pretty. Up here I have my Urban Decay Troublemaker PR package. I, it's holographic and I just thought it looked really pretty. Here I have this hat from MAC, all of my Huda Beauty lip strobes. This package from MAC, my boyfriend is like slowly putting this up as a display, but I haven't used it all yet. I have my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk PR package right here because I'm trying to find a better place for it. This package 
is really, really cool because the sand here is actually the sand that she's on in this shoot, which is really, really cool. My Hoodie Beauty 3D highlighters. And then I have this collection and this lipstick from MAC. This was the first package that MAC ever sent me and it literally just means so much to me. And also the packaging is honestly like aesthetic AF. It's so pretty that I had to display it with this lipstick as well. It just looks so pretty. Next is this MAC Nicki Minaj package. And I mean, like, honestly, how can you not display this? So yeah, this package just has a bunch of lipsticks. Then here is my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation package. It doesn't have anything in it anymore because I took everything out, but I thought it was still really pretty. Down here we have my favorite package ever, and this is my MAC Vault. And then off to the side, I just have another MAC package that I actually got the other day with all of these really pretty new lip glosses. Down here, I'm wanting to put something a little bit prettier. Right here is what goes on top of the Nicki Minaj package. And I literally, I just can't get it in myself to throw it away. So it's here. Off to the side is my pretty much my only pair of heel slash platform slash anything not vans this is me officially saying that i'm gonna actually wear these to drag con next year okay it's gonna happen i know that this year i was too scared too but after seeing everyone else i felt very very bland so i'm gonna wear them drag con 2018 count on it then i pretty much just have this like rug that my dogs lay on it was nice now now it's ruined and then right here you have a baby boy david he wanted to be a part of your video. And then right here, this box is full of stuff that I had to pull out because you guys aren't allowed to see yet. <laughs> Nothing special for me, but just stuff that I make content for that isn't released yet. And then I, I forgot to turn my little lights on, but this is one of my pieces of artwork. And under that is basically all of my storage. Starting off right here is basically all of my chokers slash accessories slash rings slash anything that can be dangled on this is. Have a picture of me and David. Right here is my like lipstick thing, mainly has a Lime Crime and Huda in it. And then over here is my lipstick tower. I would say that this is pretty much mostly what I bought. I would say like at least 80% of it I bought everything on that. That was like my pride and joy for a really, really long time. Next in this very unbrand fitted box, I have all of my tattoo junkie stuff that I keep separate because I do so much for them, like advertising content wise, but I just keep it all together opposed to like putting it all away that stays there. Starting here is pretty much like tools, I guess. I have contacts, like scissors, my derma roller, bigger brushes, etc. in here. In here is like Halloween stuff and more stuff. This is doesn't really have a lot in it. This is my sample drawer of all of my samples that I have collected. Let me know if you guys want me to do a full face using only samples part two. This is my skin care drawer. So in here is like makeup wipes, moisturizer oil, masks, sprays. This one I just got, which is why it's still in the package. I don't take new products out of the package until I actually use them because if for some chance I don't use it, I don't want the package to be off because then I can't really like do a proper like giveaway with it or it's weird if I give it to like a friend, it's like open. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. But I got this literally today and I love sprays so I'll definitely use it. Um, yeah, just basically a bunch of face masks, a bunch of skincare. This drawer is my one, oh no, it's stuck. This drawer is basically my one random drawer that I'll allow myself to have. This basically has like glitters and plugs and random stuff in it. I try not to have too many of these drawers because I don't want to be have just a bunch of junk drawers, but this is my like one junk drawer that I allow myself. This row of drawers is just for eye stuff. Here is where I keep a lot of the makeup that is brand new and I need to try so that way 
when I am going to go pick out stuff to film with, I know where to go. I usually pick from this drawer first, so I have like a bunch of lashes, a bunch of MAC stuff. I just bought these. I'm gonna use them hopefully today in some tutorial. New Tattoo Junkie stuff, Mac Snowball stuff, all that kind of stuff in here. This is my lash drawer. I have basically, as you can tell, mostly bold face makeup. I love them. They're pretty much now my absolute go-to brand because they have literally like the thinnest lash band that I've ever worn and they're the only lashes that I can actually stand to wear for like really, really long periods of time. They are really, really comfortable and they're basically what I'm wearing in every video for the past like two or three weeks. Very, very, very good. Then I do have some Huda ones and then, and then like a couple sets of Hypnoti ones. Basically it's just a big mess in here. Next, this is my eye drawer basically. By the way, I didn't like excessively clean for you all so you guys can actually see how I actually keep it opposed to like pretending that I, opposed to pretending I keep everything like perfect 24 something because I definitely don't. Here is basically where a lot of individual stuff goes or stuff that gets knocked off from this. This is, this is pretty much like mascara, eyeliner, more eyeliner. This is like glitter pots and stuff like that. Same with back there. Things like that aren't supposed to be in there. Then eyebrow stuff and then more glitter. Here is where I keep my bigger eye palettes. So like in here I have like this giant BH Cosmetics one, more BH Cosmetics, my Carly Bible palette, this Laura Geller one, this super, super old Tarte True Blood one. Can you believe how old this thing is? Seriously, like it has to be like five years old now. Then down here is basically all of my smaller eyeshadow palettes. So I have like my Lime Crime MAC, a lot of Too Faced, let's see under Fake Up Fix, and then I have, oh I do have, I have a Beach Cosmetics one in here. And just like a lot of my really small ones go in here. Basically if it can fit in here, it is in here. A couple of you were asking about this palette. I love this palette. I bought it like a couple weeks ago and it's like one of my go-tos now. And then this set of drawers is mainly face stuff. Then this top drawer is basically stuff that I haven't tried yet. I just got this in the mail today. Have a good amount of MAC in here, all of these Hypnoti ones, more Tattoo Junkie, Lime Crime, more Lime Crime, more MAC, more Tattoo Junkie, <laughs> some Tarte. So yeah, this is all stuff that's like new that I need to try. And then in here is face powders slash highlights. Again, stuff that I haven't tried stays in the box. Then pretty much all of these are highlighter and then powder, 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 more highlighter that just doesn't fit in there. I've been using this one a ton lately. It's the Snowball one. Another one I re I tried the other day and I really, really love was this Wet n Wild like mermaid one. It went on so smoothly. And here is foundation slash concealer slash drops slash color correcting stuff. Uh, so this looks like a mess because it is. This is basically all of my foundations are in here except some concealer that got out. Concealer here, color correctors there, drops there, except for the drops there. Um, I have no good excuse for any of that. Luckily, somehow these end up not dripping. <laughs> so all of my stuff stays clean. And then sometimes the David will help me put away my stuff. I mean, all the time, honestly. And then he'll put stuff like this in there and that's why some of it is not in its right place. That's fine. So in here is pretty much just lipstick. And I hope I'm not going to get in trouble by accidentally having something in here that I'm not allowed to show. But um, I have like this Lime Crime set that I still haven't opened. I'll probably end up giving that away. And then pretty much just all liquid lipsticks here and lip glosses. I keep all of my lip liners in this like Sephora play bag that I thought was really cute because it's all clear. My KKW set it used to be on my display but but it got knocked off by um, Nicki Minaj. And then last but not least, here are all my face palettes. So in here are like all of my glow kits, contour stuff, or really, really super giant bronzers. Look at how big this thing is. It's like bigger than my hand. My one Z palette. Um, again, about David putting away my stuff, the Mewtwo Locas in here. 
Um, yeah, this is basically just mainly contour and highlighter palettes. Then if you turn your attention all the way to the left, here's just a big pile of stuff. And basically this is just stuff that doesn't fit in any drawers like this, like this Dermalogica box. All this stuff is in here, but I haven't put it away yet. And so it's just in its box that it came in. And it's pretty much stuff that doesn't fit or extras that I have. So yeah, here is all of that. And now we're over to where I film with. First, you need a dog, specifically this dog. Dog. So to start off, we have this giant piece of fabric that I'm pretty sure I paid like 30 bucks for that my dog used as a blanket. So I was going to reupholster this chair, which never ended up happening, obviously. And it's honestly on its last leg. I'll show you guys. But it's like super close to falling over, essentially. So if you guys see me just like tip back in one of my tutorials, that is why. So for filming, pretty much this is what you guys see in the background. So for my little lights, I have my stands, dog toy. And then for these, these are basically indoor floodlights. And it, they're LED, so on the camera, it picks up as this like really, really nice gradient. Not as much like right now, but more so when I'm like sitting right there. Same with that one. I have them kind of angled so that there's like a different type of gradient going on. As for my background, I pretty much just have the regular background stand and then a piece of paper from this giant roll. And then this is my desk. Again, I didn't like overly clean, sorry. Pretty much just have like my temperature thing because I'm obsessed with like knowing the temperature. I don't know. So I have one soft box, ring light, another soft box, mirror, tripod, makeup wipes, Clorox wipes because I like to wipe down my vanity, all of my dirty brushes, all of my clean brushes, sponges I bought because I didn't want to wash them. And then up here is like my other pride and joy. This is my Alex Pardee artwork. I've wanted this for so long and I only got it recently. I have too much respect for him to buy a print that someone else made. So I waited for him to re-release it and he did. So yay, I have that right above cause I really like it. My camera came with a little remote. So yeah, that is basically my entire vanity slash studio setup. Now you guys know basically what everything looks like to me while I'm sitting here and what's going on behind me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't like this type of video at all, let me know and I will never do it again. But that is all I have for you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.